Frankfurt and Dublin are emerging as the clear favorites for post-Brexit relocation among UK-based banks, according to a top official at Germany's central bank. Britain's financial services industry has been quietly preparing for a Brexit, given that it's likely to lose its EU passporting rights. These are special licenses that allow UK-based banks to sell their services across the whole of the EU. This is not decided. So this is still something which is in the air uh, because the Brexit is not done. I mean, we are still in the beginning of the talks in order to see how it will work, if it will happen and how it will happen. So the question is, I mean, of course, for the big companies, for bank uh, insurance uh, companies which are based in London, to anticipate eventually what will be the Brexit for them. And the point is that they will lose the capacity to uh, work in a good condition uh, if they are not on the continent. So that's why they are looking for different uh, cities. Of course, Frankfurt is very use, uh, interesting for them because this is where there is the ECB. Uh, so the, uh, already the, the economic actors are, are in Frankfurt there and because Germany is the more economic, uh, more important uh, uh, economic actor in the, in the Eurozone uh, currently. Then Dublin, because of potentially fiscal uh, facilities. The negotiations between London and Brussels are still ongoing and it remains unclear how many employees will have to be moved from London to other European cities. At the moment, the disruption appears to be minimal compared to the overall size of the industry. There are other cities which are still uh, fighting, and you mentioned uh, Paris. Paris is trying to get uh, also some of the bank's uh, uh, assets and, uh, and, and uh, insurance. The point is maybe the, the big companies and the bank will spread a little bit. They will not go from London all to Frankfurt or from London all to Dublin if they choose uh, one of these cities. They may have some different, because they are already there. Uh, they may uh, say, let's say uh, HSBC will come uh, to Paris, will send 1,000 people in Paris, but there will be also some guys going to, to Frankfurt. So first, this is not done. Two, they are still looking for the best uh, possibilities for them. Uh, and uh, three, they may spread their, um, their, their, um, their workers in order to, uh, to have a better uh, situation in the, in the Eurozone. So far, fewer than 10 of the approximately 40 banks that conduct EU businesses out of London have applied for a license to continue banking in the bloc after the UK leaves. This is Farah Al-Hashim reporting for the World Economic Review, KTV2, Paris.